Hey everybody, <clears throat> welcome back to the channel. It's been a really long time since I filmed anything, so I've got a lot of things that I want to try to get filmed today. The first one here <clears throat> is a envelope folio, is what I'm going to call this. Um, just because it the, the angles of it kind of look like an envelope. Maybe I need you to move away. Um, this is done using the Cartabella Oh Happy Day collection. And this is about the only thing I have left of that collection after making this. And the design was done by Jennifer Palmer over at um, Scrapping Under the Influence. It is an, it's eight inches tall and 10 inches wide. And this is a folio, it's not a mini album. And the difference in a folio and, and a mini album is that a mini album has hinges and pages. A folio is done just with all flaps and waterfalls and that sort of thing. There are no hinges in a folio. So <clears throat> on the front here, on the front flap, I've got a, uh, one of the cutter parts that says hello here. It's tied with seam binding, yellow seam binding. And if you don't like it this long, you can trim it. But as always, I always say, seam binding does ravel. So what I do is when I decide, you know, when I get my pictures in here and I decide, um, you know, and I can see how thick it's going to be and how I want to tie this, if I want to trim it, I can trim it. And then I take a little bit of art glitter glue or you can use whatever glue is will dry clear. Anything will be do as fine as, as long as it dries clear. And I just put a line on my finger and then dip the end of the seam binding in the glue and then put that off to the side so it doesn't get on your book. Um, and once that dries, then it won't ravel. So this flips up, and I have another cutter part up here that says beautiful. And down here, this is angled. Um, and there's a little uh, cutter part here. It says enjoy the small things. And this whole thing is an envelope. This whole angled piece is an envelope. So inside here, I have a whole bunch of cutter parts that you can use to put um, pictures on. You can do them front and back. If you don't like the, you know, the saying on one side, you can just cover that up with a picture and put a picture on both sides. So I've got one that says, enjoy the small things. You are made of magic. Soul full of sunshine. Bloom where you are planted. Plant kindness, gather love. Good times ahead. Home is where love resides. Memories are created. Friends and family belong and laughter never ends. And then this is just a plain one. It's green gingham on one side and then flowered on the other. So those all fit down in this angled pocket here. And even with all that in there, it's still very loose. You could, you know, you're not going to have any problem adding, um, photos to all those and then stick them down in there and then you could probably even get more in there. On the back of that, um, this is the back of that angled pocket. I have a sticker here that says, Oh Happy Day. It's mounted on black cardstock and it's open on the bottom so that if you wanted to put a picture here and you needed um, to tick, tuck it up under there, you could. Okay. This next set of flaps, I've got another angle here, again, kind of mimicking this and mimicking what an envelope would look like. But on the front of those uh, flaps, I have a belly band. And in here, I have a little booklet that says best day ever. And there's a little, I'm gonna call that a partridge. I'm not sure what that is, but it's a little bird there. It says best day ever. On the inside, it's white. These stickers are, uh, you know, open 
so that when you put your pictures on here, you can you can slide them back behind there if you need to. It's plain on the back. And over here, this is another belly band and another booklet. This one says, A Perfect Day. It's another little partridge right there. Or maybe it's a quail. I don't know. Again, the stickers are not glued flat. You can slide your pictures back behind there. And it's plain on the back. Okay, those flip open. So on the back of these angled pockets, let's see if we can get it in frame here. On here I've got a, a pocket, and in here I've got some tags with seam binding on them. This one says, just for you, love, dreaming always. Um, you know, these can be used for journaling or for pictures. On the other side, there's another angled pocket. This one, the, I've got a tag here that says hip hip hooray and the tag over here says love. And then I have three more tags up here with ribbon. This one says making lemonade, happy happy day, and smile. Again, those could be used for pictures or journaling or whatever you want. If I have something in here you don't like, you take it out and you Use it for something else or you throw it away. Or you stick a, you know, you stick, cover it up with a picture. Okay, in the middle, I've got a, a flap here with room for either pictures or you could use this white area for journaling and put one picture here. And then down below, I have two more angled pockets with some tags in here. This one says, hello, love. And you are the best. Over here we have two more that says enjoy the small things and hello. And then you can, I mean these are very loose in here. You've got room to stick pictures in here. Um, you could take that out and use the whole thing for pictures. Then these flip up and down. Up here we have you could put two pictures here. You could put, you know, a picture here and use this for journaling. And then the same thing down here at the bottom. And then back to the middle. Uh, this is tied closed with seam binding, pink seam binding. Um, over here, you have large spot. You can put pictures in there. Uh, this is not... Um, not glued down so you can stick your pictures behind there if you need to. You know, you could put two pictures on here, you could put one larger picture. And then on this side, we've got a stacked pocket with um, a bunch of cut aparts. I've got a little tag there. You can use that for a photo mat. Got a tag here that says beautiful. And this one says gather here. So there are three pockets on there. Then these flip open. Over here, we've got a large area that could be used for journaling or photos. I mean, just because I put white in an area or some solid color does not mean that you need to put a picture there. You could put journaling here. You could put newspaper clippings. You know, it depends on what you're going to use the book for. So um, you just use your imagination. Because I've got one paper up here and one paper down here does not mean that this needs to be two different things. I mean, this flap here is almost five by seven and three quarters. So with just a little trimming, you could get a five by seven photo on there. <clears throat> okay, and then on the back here, this is a very large pocket. Again, this is open so that when you put a picture on here, you can slide it back behind there. And in the pocket, I have a large booklet. Down here is a sticker that says grow, and it is open so you can put pictures behind it. On the inside, 
I've got these large border pieces here with some photo mats stuck inside. So you could put pictures on one or both sides of that. Or if you'd rather just have the white, you take these out and use them somewhere else and just put your pictures directly on the white. And then the back is plain. You could, you could write on this with a white gel pen. You could put pictures here, however you want it to work. And I don't think I said what this says. This is Friends or Flowers in the Garden of Life. Then over here, we have a waterfall. This is Bloom Where You're Planted. It flips up. This is just some like some antique frames and it flips down. Then this says Best Day Ever and it has lines on it. You could put journaling there. It flips up. This one down here says Love It and it flips down. And on the back of each one is just solid white. So they could be used for pictures or for journaling. And then you could also put something in here. So, just as a quick count, you could put six photos there, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You could conservatively get 30 pictures in here. And if you wanted to do front and back of things, you could get cl probably closer to 45 pictures in this folio. This goes down first. Ties, I won't do that on film. Then this go, no, these go next. No. These go next. Then this. Then this. And that is my Oh Happy Day envelope folio. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.